Hi Capricorns, welcome to my channel, Albino Moon Child Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking your reading out for this week. These are only weeklies, so they only last a week and there is no time frame. Whenever you see this Capricorn or Capricorn Cross Rogers, this is when you are meant to see it. Alright, so here we go. First card out we have is the Six of Wands. We have the Naked Heart. And we have the Seven of Wands. Awesome sauce. We have the uh, Innocence of Swords. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Heart of Swords. Okay, Heart of Swords is like the Queen of Swords. Innocent of Swords is the Page of Swords. And the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords. Oh my gosh, Capricorns. What is going on, Butter Buns? All right, Capricorns. Let's see what is going on, Sugars. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Being the overall energy is you are tired of walking on eggshells. You are tired of all the fighting, all the fussing, all the arguments, all the inner conflict for some of you. All right. What do you mean by that, Becky? The inner conflict is like you're tired of feeling frantic and anxious. Okay. Five of Swords energy, Capricorns and Capricorn Cross Watchers is kind of like that feeling like when you really like don't want to get into a fight, but then all of a sudden somebody wants to start fighting with you and then all of a sudden you're just, your adrenaline kind of kicks up and you're just like, you know, I'm ready to do this. I'm kind of shaking, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a freaking do it. That's that energy. All right. Or that feeling that you get when you're about to get into a fight. That is that energy. All right. So Five of Swords being the overall energy, the Trump card being the Naked Heart. All right. So for some of you Capricorns, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with these deep type of peoples or that these are some placements in your chart. Okay. So I feel like you definitely want success. You want to get out of this situation where you are like feeling trapped in a sense where you're feeling like, you know what? Dang, if I do, and dang, if I don't, I'm tired of walking on eggshells, Becky. I'm tired of feeling this way. It drains the heck out of me. Okay. I totally get it. You want to get away from all that negative energy. So what do you do, Capricorn? You get some information. You seek, you do some research, okay? What do I mean by that? For instance, like, there's this exercise I had to do and where it was like, what it is that I want? What is my goal, all right? Why do I want it? What steps can I take or what steps do need to be taken to achieve that? What little steps can I take? Research was definitely the number one thing that I had to do research like for instance um when things were going on with the inauguration after the whole um capitol building incident right i was like you know what <laughs> time for me to time for me to jet set is yeah, this country is going crazy so i decided to head up north but i had to do my research i had to see which fly which way which mode of transportation was the cheapest um when was a good time gathering the information okay because you want to do something your heart is in its mind where it's like you know what in my heart i truly desire this in my heart i know i can win so i need to take the practical steps necessary show it up buttercup all right it's like ace of pentacles is like the intention this is the opportunity what am i going to do with it two of pentacles can definitely be um that you're going to do it that you've put energy into it so putting energy into it right because the ace is like the opportunity that the universe god your creator gave you and number two is like okay i'm gonna go with it all right for others of you your heart is juggling two things all right there could be children involved i see children um with that uh 
with that uh, page of swords, there could be a sm inner, um, inner, something about an inner, okay, inner child for some of you. So some of you, inner child is going back and forth. It's going, it's kind of like, in a sense, it's like it's happy, it's sad, it's happy, it's sad. All right, for others of you, um, this child. There's something about wanting a child to succeed, all right? That's what I'm getting. Blocking out other people or this child could be blocking you out um, in regards to communication. They stop talking, all right? If that's not it, then Capricorn, if you're dealing with a younger person or you're the younger, somebody has definitely blocked communication, okay? Um, for others of you with that seven of wands and that that uh, queen of swords or that heart of swords it's like communication is blocked and the reason why it is blocked is because this is where she drew the line this is like you know I I'm tired of all the the animosity I'm done with that and you when the, the communication comes it can be very cold but it can be very concise okay clear and concise for others of you I feel like there's an elevation um, you're seeking higher elevation um, and this could be in regards to for instance if this is in regards to work you see things in a different perspective you're communicating differently Okay, because you see things from a higher level, okay, a higher level. So it's like you can see the, the pigeons and the crows. You can see the ones who are deceiving and who aren't. You see people for who they really are, okay. And it, it's just like you're out of your, I definitely don't see really any emotions here. It's like you've blocked off emotions, which is very positive because in a sense right now the situation does not call for emotions you're looking things at a logical practical and action-oriented way the only thing I see is like what is it that your heart truly desires is the big old question all right because it is in the center of the read all right whatever it is that your heart truly desires Capricorn Take that action, take that plan, take that next step, okay? Alrighty. Oh, so while I was shuffling these cards, um, one came out and it was kind of like bent out of shape. So I feel like somebody is bent out of shape about something or somebody is just like their back is hurting and they need to go see a chiropractor, honestly, is what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so set that appointment, Capricorns. Set that appointment. Capricorns, thank you. Finish the shuffle, finish the shuffle. Okay, so for the first card we have is get a new story. All right, if you're tired of the same old song and yeah, dance, my friend, Aerosmith, way back, right? You're tired of the same old dance, song and dance, that SSDD, same shiitake mushrooms, different day, okay? You're just done. You're done. Because your heart truly desires something better something more peaceful all right the next one says okay and when it says um uh, get a new story that's what it means get a new story and instead of going for the ssdd how about trying something different how about trying something new all right how about trying something that your heart truly desires all right and it says call on your joy guides all right oh joy when you call me i was giving up i was giving in how you always know when i'm down all right so it's saying you need some joy in your life all right i totally get it capricorns right now i'm rocking inside my my lady purse i guess this my, yeah, my bra, my double barrel slingshots. All right, I have sunstone and yellow opal. 
all right sunstone is going to help with the sacral and the um solar plexus and sunstone is def um yellow yellow opal is definitely going to help with my um my little solar plexus so solar plexus is in charge of joy happiness yellow so wear some yellow all right wear some yellow eat some yellow fruit or vegetables like pineapples i love pineapples mm, pineapples all right so eat something yellow yellow squash whatever it is get you some joy yo seriously find you some happiness all right go for like Go hang out with your friends. Go hang out with people that actually make you feel good, all right? Block those ones, those haters, those negative Nancys and Neds, all right? And it says meta mentors and role models. Mentors and role models, all right? So straight up Capricorn, because I am a Capricorn rising in West uh, Western, right? Mentors and role models, all right? So if you know somebody that is just like, you know, you see that they are living the good life. They're living the good life. They're at peace with themselves. So they're happy. Um, it, that's the person that you need as a role model. Now, for others of you, again, if you have children, you want to be that role model, all right? You want to be that role model that they look up to, mentors and role models, teaching these children, teaching people that, you know what, you don't have to put up with the BS. You don't. You're Capricorn. Dominate. Take. You're that executive. You're that boss lady. That boss man. That one that knows how. That executive. Okay. Okay. Because the executive. Psh, you think they're going to have that? Nah, bro. Nah. All right. What I was saying is this is kind of why I have a life coach. All right, she's a mentor. She's somebody I definitely look up to. I used to watch her on YouTube way before I got into tarot. Um, she does cards of Matsy, which is like the playing card system. So I loved her energy. I loved the way she talked, and I just, I just love the way she read. So I actually like, I asked the universe. I kept hearing like, you're gonna get a mentor. You're gonna get a guru. Somebody's gonna come across you and help you. All right. And it's like, I was like, universe, all right, I'm open to a mentor. I will do whatever it takes to get this mentor. I leave it in your hands. And then all of a sudden, she emails me a little flyer because I had ordered some readings from her before. Um, she, or she sent me a little flyer about her specials. And I was like, there she is. There she is. So ever since like we've been she's been working with me for um, a little bit over a year and i just feel so much burden free i feel like i know who i am and that is awesome sauce all right so here we go with the last set of oracles Jeez! all right they just popped out all right here we go and I'm going to have my little flashy light to help me see. It says reach for the stars. Oh my gosh. Okay, Capricorns. Reach for the stars. What is it that you truly wish? What is it that you truly desire? Reach for it. All right. How do I reach for it, Becky? You put those practical steps and actions towards it. All right. You change that mindset. What does that mean, Becky? You change that mindset instead of saying, I can't do it. I can, all right? It doesn't have to be today that you want it and you're gonna get it. It can be throughout time. Remember, this is the year of the ox or the cow in the Chinese um, zodiac. So this is about hard work will get you towards what it is that you truly want and desire, okay? And it says, do what you love. Do what you love, Capricorns, and love what you do. That is the secret ingredient, the secret sauce to a successful, a successful lifestyle. Do what you love. You don't love it, 
don't do it. It's kind of like your romantic situations. If you're not in love with your partner, then why are you in that relationship, right? If it's for the money, then you need to like have, <laughs> you're having a relationship with money, all right? Accept what is dying. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for those people, love, romantic or non-romantic, accept what's dying. If your feelings for somebody is dying, it's like no longer there. You feel nothing because of all this drama and all this malarkey and all this bullshit, right? Except that it's dying. Don't try to fix it. I always told somebody, a Capricorn guy, I said, I, I quoted, uh, what was it, J. Cole? Um, she don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her, all right? He don't want to be saved. Don't save her. Just let it die. Let it. Just let it. All right? And it says, take the lead. Take the lead in your life, all right? For some of you guys, this could be revolving in around work. Reach for the stars. Do what you love. If your goal is to be a CEO, be the higher up, go for it, all right? Accept what is dying. Accept that maybe the position that you are in it no longer satisfies you, all right? It no longer satisfies you. Take the lead. Take charge. You think she got to be a queen because she just sat there and let things, you know, just pass her by? No. She reached for the star. She said, you know what? Bish, I want to be a queen. So, bish, she got to be a queen, all right? Take the lead. Reach for the stars. Do what it is that you love, Okay? Again, recipes for success. Thank you so much, Capricorns, for tuning in. Oh, they said hit the bottom, Becky. Hit the bottom. Hit the bottom. Y'all know I like to hit the bottom. All right. It says refine your attention. Refine your attention. What does that mean, Becky? So when I see this th this card, I think of the Seven of Cups, all right? So Seven of Cups, everybody's like, oh, confusion and illusion. Okay, that's very true, but it also can be distractions. Distractions. So refine your attention. What is it that you truly want, all right? If you're noticing that things are not going right and you've been in the past, you just kept ignoring it, kept ignoring it, refine that attention. Look at it. This is why they say, do your research, do some stalking, do some higher critical thinking, all right? This is the before. This is like no critical thinking, and this is critical thinking, all right? So thank you so much, Capricorns, for tuning in. I send you so much love and so much light, and namaste.